up, gentlemen? So I used to think that confidence was a destination, right? It was somewhere that you could get to. And once you were there, you were cool. I've come to realize that confidence is much more like a journey. And it's a journey that each of us are going to have to embark on if we ultimately want to be happy, healthy, and successful. The other reality is that we're all at different places along that journey. Some of us are a little bit further along. Some of us are just starting the process or the road trip. But today, what I want to share with you are seven weird ways that I've actually discovered a little bit more confidence in myself along my personal journey. If you're ready to feel better about yourself, gentlemen, drop me one of these to tell the algorithm to this is to suck it. Gentlemen, drop me one of these. Thank you, Konnichiwa. Let's start getting you more confident. So the first thing that's a little bit weird that I was like, yo, no way, no, this really is gonna make me feel better is actually failing. Some of us go our entire life never really trying because we're so scared of actually failing. But when you actually go after something, it doesn't work out. This is actually one of the best things that can happen to you because when it happens, you realize that, okay, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm still kicking it. I'm still awesome. And Alp is still handsome. Shout out to Tish Hanley. We are so scared of the worst case scenario that it prevents us from trying. When it prevents us from trying and we don't actually go after our goals, this makes us feel crazy, weak, and insecure. But when you actually go after it, right? Even if you get punched in the face, you pick yourself back up and you're like, yo, everything's all right, all right, that sucked. I don't want to do it again. But if it happens again, that's okay. I'm going to go after my goals because I'm all right. The second weird way to boost your confidence is to work out. Right now, hold on. Now you're all like, ah, work out. I knew that was here. here. Here's the reason. It's not just because you're going to look better. It's what it does to your brain. It's what it does to your confidence. When you go to the gym, when you lift weights, you are purposely making your body hurt. You are purposely challenging your body. And by doing this over and over and over, you're actually strengthening the brain. David Goggins says that exercise calluses the mind. The third weird way to boost your confidence, gentlemen, is to chill out with the consumption of the movies. So confidence works in mysterious ways. One of those ways is actually by consuming less of the movies. And the reason, well, there are actually a few reasons. Reason number one is that a lot of guys, when they watch it, they kind of have this like feel bad guilt thing going on afterwards, right? When you're doing it, everything's cool. But as soon as you like pop your moisturizer, maybe a little guilty, not as motivated, definitely a little bit lazy. But the other thing that happens when you consume the movies, you're not as attentive to your relationship, right? Because you're getting your action from the movies as opposed to the person you should be getting your action with. Now, I'm not saying that touching it from time to time and hanging out so with Big Al is a bad thing, not at all. But the movies, in my opinion, are something that each and every one of you should try to stop for 30 days. 30 days. Think you can do it? Could you give up the movies for 30 days? I'm not talking about Big Al solo action, but the movies. Could you do it? If the answer is yes, I'm going to give it a try. Some interesting things are going to happen. Not only are you going to feel more confident about yourself because you actually were successful in doing something that you didn't really love that you were doing before, you also are going to have better relations. And by better relations, I mean better. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. The fourth weird way to instantly boost your confidence, gentlemen, is to start taking better care of that handsome ass face of yours. So I know that I joke around a lot about Tish Hanley. Tish Hanley and what it does for your face and your confidence is incredibly serious. The quickest and easiest way for you to feel more confident and amazing about yourself is to look in the mirror and love your face. Love your skin. Know that it looks incredible. Know that it's not dry and blackheady and blemished and all oily and nasty, gentlemen. And when you actually get a compliment like, yo, Brian, your skin looks amazing, game over, you win. You win because you feel so incredible. And the beautiful thing, it doesn't take 27,000 products. There are a few basic things that each and every one of you need to do every single day in order to look amazing and feel great about yourself. Twice a day, you need to wash your face to remove the oil, the dirt, the grime that builds up. Twice a week, you need to exfoliate to remove the top dead layer of skin and bring new, fresh, healthy, handsome skin to the surface. And then every day, you need to use an AM moisturizer with an SPF of 20 to moisturize your handsome face and protect it. And then at night before you go to bed, a little more moisturizer, gentlemen, in order to give your body what it needs in order to rebuild better, stronger, and more handsome. 
That's it. Simple, easy, quick. Anybody can do it, but you got to start. You got to start today. Do not wait. Now, if you're a little bit older, you want to fight dark circles, crow's feet, go with the level two system, which comes with an eye cream or level three, which comes with the anti-aging super serum along with the eye cream. Guys, hit the link down below and go get started with T. Shanley today. And if you do for a limited time and while supplies last, we're giving you something special if you go through our special link. Guys, it is the very incredibly hard to get Tej towel, all right? This towel is amazing. The reason why it's amazing is because A, it's Tej. The other reason is because these things have been selling out like crazy, all right? It is embroidered. It's an incredibly high quality towel that looks super sexy sitting on your sink. So after you're done washing your face, right? Just like that, or some other uses for this. You could wipe the drool off that spicy senorita's face when she sees how damn good looking you become from using Tej Handling, where you could actually use it to clean up after. After what? Exactly. Gentlemen, you know you want this towel. You know you want a more handsome face. So solve those two problems. Hit the link down below. Go get started with Tej Hanley today and grab the Tej towel while supplies last. The fifth weird thing that will instantly boost your confidence, gentlemen, is kick some toxic ass friend's ass to the curb. Gentlemen, one of the things that was so incredibly liberating and confidence boosting for me was when I finally like took ownership in the fact that, yo, there are few people in my life that I need to absolutely excommunicate from my presence. And the reason and the reality is that they were bad for me emotionally and mentally. When you surround yourself with people that are negative or toxic, not that they're bad people for other people, but for you, they're bad. What happens is it makes us feel bad about ourselves, right? Because our emotional needs are not getting met. And when you surround yourself or have people in your life that bring you down, that do not provide value or lift you up, it is holding you back and preventing you from ultimately unlocking your confidence. You gotta kick their toxic ass to the curb. Is it easy? No, it's incredibly hard. It's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was break up with a few toxic friends. You know, because, you know, deep down, you want to be loved, you want to be liked, and, and you want to be friends with these people. Unfortunately, these people are not the type of friend that you need. And until you remove them from your life, you're never truly going to be confident. The sixth weird way to boost your confidence, like literally, like instantly, is to be nice, be kind, and help other people. And this was something that I learned sort of by accident, right? When I started, you know, posting YouTube videos, I didn't think that it was actually gonna make me feel better about myself, but it did. And the reason is because I realized that I was actually benefiting and, and helping other people. When you give of yourself to other people and try to make their lives better or do something, even if it's small, and even though like helping somebody else is kind of like an unselfish act, the truth is, if I'm, if I'm really being honest, it's an incredibly selfish thing because it feels amazing to help somebody. And so when you get that boost of confidence, when it feels that good, you wanna do it again. You keep doing it, eventually your confidence starts to go through the roof. And last but certainly not least, the seventh weird way to boost your confidence and self-esteem is to say no. No, as in no. I won't do that. No, I won't help you with that. No, you can't treat me that way. Gentlemen, saying no is so intoxicating. It's also incredibly powerful, but it's really challenging to do if you are somebody that is not used to doing it. Once again, I learned this the hard way. I used to be a people pleaser. I had the inability to say no or to stand up for myself. But when I finally was like, no, no, you can't treat me this way. No, I won't do that. Even though I might've done it in the past, no, I'm taking a stand. When you learn or develop the ability to say no and stand up for yourself, like game over, everything in your life is gonna get better. You're also gonna find a self-esteem and a confidence that you have never known. At least it did, or that's what happened with me. I, from a very young age, because of some like abusive stepfathers, I lost my ability to stand up for myself. I, I let people take advantage of me. But when I went to therapy, I dealt with my issues, and I finally decided if I'm gonna be happy, I need to not allow other people to take advantage of me. I need to stand up for me. I was so scared of confrontation. Anytime I think about it, I'd get all like nervous and like feel like I was gonna pass out. And the first time I stood up to somebody and told them no, I also felt like I was gonna pass out because I was super nervous. But what happened afterwards was amazing. You know, the first time is the hardest, but then each time after that gets easier. You know, there's a saying that we teach people how to treat us. Gentlemen, teach people that you deserve better. Teach people that you deserve the best. Teach people that you are amazing. And now, hopefully after this video, you are more confident.